this video is wait for academic purpose only otherwise take the services of a professional in this video we will learn to write the smallest c program which is legal let us look at some requirements we need to have an ascii editor vi is available under unix and linux by default this vm vm is the text editor uh, which is available under linux it is vi itself and it can be invoked by typing vi only nano is available under linux g edit is available under linux g editor a, a g edit is a more powerful text editor than nano it has a nice mouse integration cut copy paste facility it has a nice gui uh, people use it uh, uh, very frequently emacs is one of the most powerful text editor i have come across it is available under unix linux and windows turbo c it has in its integrated development environment very good text editor for writing source programs visual c from microsoft in its ide it also has a very nice uh, text editor for writing program but make sure you do not use word processing software like ms word libreoffice for the purpose we need to have compilers for unix operating system cc is the name of the compiler gcc is available under linux turbo c the product from borland corporation has built in text editor for ms dos from microsoft visual c from microsoft is for microsoft windows now one more uh, requirement is the file extension has to be file extension has to be .c file name may be anything for example first but it has to end in .c now this is the smallest c program here we need to write return type which is by default int assumed if we don't write m a i n lower case irrespective of the size of the program you can have one and exactly one main function opening parenthesis closing parenthesis these are essential between these two we can write runtime arguments which we'll explore in some other video then opening brace closing brace these are the essential ingredients you may write all these characters in single line only but as a good uh, responsible programmer good programmers we should write these uh, characters in such a way that reading of the program becomes easier now to compile to compile we have to type gcc space first dot c and hit enter in some keyboards you will find instead of a uh, uh, enter return is written this will generate an executable file uh, with default name a dot out irrespective of the source file name our source file name was first dot c but if compilation is successful no errors then it will generate a dot out to execute uh, the executable file under default linux setup we need to type dot power slash a dot out and if you wish to generate an executable file name of your choice then type like this this is minus symbol or dash or hyphen whatever you call it and lower case o small o executable file name which you require and this is the source file name remember there is no relation between these two in the sense this file name executable file name need not be same as uh, the uh, primary file name of the source file they can be uh, they, uh, this can be any any name but uh, as a good programmer we should retain the first uh, uh, part of uh, the file name source file name as the executable file name so that we can identify that this file is executable executable version of this source file to execute type dot 
forward slash. Okay, now let us see how we compile and write our program. Okay, now here we have typed no program so far. So let me invoke my editor. I will type main opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis, and that's it. Control O for saving the file, Control X to exit the editor. Now you can see first.c appears here. Now let me compile it GCC first.c. Now you can see here there is a warning. As I told you, warning. Return type default to int. It is a warning. It's not an error, so we can ignore it. Okay. Now, if we type a dot out to execute, it says command not found, whereas it appears here. It is present there, but we cannot execute it by simply typing a dot out. As I told you, in default Linux setup, we need to type dot forward slash a dot o u t. Now there is no error. But surprisingly, it prints nothing on the monitor because we have not written in this source program to do so. Okay, now suppose we want to have uh, uh, our own uh, uh, executable file name. So for that, we need to say gcc dash or minus o first first dot c. Again, same warning. Now you can see here. The executable file name is first. Now execute this. No output because we have not written anything to display onto the monitor. That is all in this video. For more videos, please like, share, and subscribe the channel. Thank you.